morning. Greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis, and while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are your go-to. We want to help you. If you have questions about the longevity products, formulations, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, please give us a call, 844-236-6010. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about skin health or skin health challenges or if you uh, heard something or read something in the paper or on TV and you want clarification or if you have a success story or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program, you can head over to brightsideben.com or pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com and order products right off the website. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the website as well. You can call the phone team at 866-735-2470 if you prefer to talk to a real live human being, 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470 is their number. If you want to start yourself a longevity business, make a little bit of money selling longevity products, join our family. And we are a family. Those of us who have, who have uh, taken the time and who are participating in the longevity business and the longevity program, we're like a family. Some of us have been doing this for 10, 15, I've been doing it personally for almost 20 years. If you want more information, you can also head over to my website, truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. If you're interested in checking out some super premium, super high-end skin health products, truthtreatments.com. Make sure you take a look at our retinol 5% gel made with retinol, vitamin C, a transdermal delivery system made made up of fats, a little bit of something called fullerenes that improve the uh, transdermal properties of the product. And that's it, folks. You're not going to find any oil, no silicon, no preservative, no fragrances, no water, no wax, no nothing that your skin doesn't need or doesn't want. That's how I formulated my Truth Treatment products. That's how I will continue to formulate my Truth Treatment products because you shouldn't have to pay for anything that your skin isn't going to use. You shouldn't have to pay for an ingredient just so I can sell you the product. And that's what 90% or more of most skincare products are. This is an egregious, nasty business, folks. Why are you paying, if you're using an ordinary skin health product, skin care product, why are you paying for water and wax and silicon and oil and preservative and fragrance just so somebody can sell you an overpriced product? Check out truthtreatments.com. Check out our Truth Balm, Truth Serum, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, and Truth Retinol 5% Gel at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. All right. So we are talking bile and bacteria and digestion and probiotics, and, and that's where we left off on the program. And if you think it's just about your intestine and your digestive tract, think again. It's not. The body is a system. Everything is connected to everything else. That's what a system is. All the parts are connected. Every part is connected to every other part, and that means bile and probiotics and and uh, uh, the, digest- the digestive tract and the intestine are going to be associated with the brain and the reproductive system and the skin and all the other organs and structures of the body. It's all linked together, especially when it comes to the digestive system, which is the foundation of the whole operation. 
If you have any digestive health issues, you would be very smart to start using your ultimate enzymes in your bioluminightly essence. You can take extra bile salts too. Apple cider vinegar taken with all your meals can restore the integrity of the intestinal environment. Same with fiber. This, these will uh, make the intestinal environment more hospitable to good bacteria. And, and you, don't eat, you don't have to have digestive health issues to benefit from these kinds of strategies because, as I say, once you improve the digestive system, everything improves. You don't have to have digestive problems to benefit from the ultimate enzymes and good bacteria. Everything will improve, especially because you're going to be improving nutrient absorption. And by the way, once you start using these strategies, taking extra bile salts, using your probiotics, your bioluminightly essence, and apple cider vinegar, and the ultimate enzymes, you're going to be reducing your risk of one of the most horrific health issues that could ever happen to a human being, and that's colon cancer, which is the third leading cause of cancer in this country and around the world. No cancer is good, obviously, but the last system you ever want to break down is your intestine, your colon. That is just, oh my God, if that doesn't freak people out, if that doesn't freak you out enough into using your ultimate enzymes and bioluminightly essence and changing the way you eat, I don't know what will. The bioluminightly essence and probiotics can also help detox food, food allergens, food toxins. The bioluminightly essence and your ultimate enzymes and all of these digestive health strategies can be important for eliminating heavy metals, for protecting against estrogens and foreign estrogens, xenoestrogen, xenoestrogens that we get from plastics and, and, uh, and birth control pills that are found in tap water. We're all taking birth control pills, folks, because we're all drinking each other's water. All the, all the water gets recirculated, and we, when we drink tap water, we're drinking somebody's waste from the day before. It's all recirculated, folks, and that's why there's tap water. Uh, that's why there's uh, birth control pills and antibiotics and other drugs in our tap water. And by the way, when we talk about estrogen, we're not just talking about women. We're talking about men. The prostate is estrogen dependent. That means if, uh, if you're using these strategies that we're talking about, fiber and probiotics and, and the bioluminightly essence, you're going to be protecting yourself against prostate cancer if you're a guy. Uh, anything that you can do to protect yourself from xeno foreign estrogens, and that includes probiotics, is going to protect men from prostate cancer, from uh, the prostate, that little tiny walnut-sized gland associated with the bladder and the plumbing and the reproductive system. We don't always think about it this way, but prostate malignancies are linked to the estrogen and fat processing and intestinal health and to foreign, uh, foreign uh, estrogens in the tap water. That's why you want to use your bile salts if you've got or your ultimate enzymes, which contain bile salts, or extra bile salts, or focus on the bile system if you're dealing with prostate issues or if you don't want to deal with prostate issues. Prostate cancer affects 200,000 men every year, kills over 26,000 men every year. It's a serious problem. And one of the best ways to protect yourself, even though we don't talk about it that way, is to use digestive health strategies. Bile salts and probiotics and fiber, these also can protect us against anti Biotics, which we're all taking, as I say, whether we're taking them intentionally or not. Dairy products, seafood, beef, tap water, these are all places where we get antibiotics. Even if, we're, even if we've never stepped foot in a doctor's office, even if we've never gotten a prescription for antibiotics, you can pretty much assume that you've got some in your system. And antibiotics are not all that benign. We've been trained and conditioned, people, in their, people my age in their 40s and 50s and 60s, We've been trained to think that antibiotics are somehow this benign medicine and you could take them whenever you want and you could take them as long as you want. It doesn't really matter. People stay on antibiotics for years. But they're not benign. They can be a source of all kinds of subclinical and, and clinical distress. A 2011 article from the British Journal of Clinical Pharmacology calls toxic side effects of antibiotics on the brain and on the central nervous system, quote, common among many groups of antibiotics in at-risk patients, and that includes extremes of age, critical illness, patients dealing with critical illnesses, renal uh, kidney problems, antibiotics are, are, are dumped out through the kidneys, and prior neurological diseases. According to this article, toxicities can range from ear toxicity, neuropathies, neuropathies, where have you heard that before? How many people are dealing with neuropathies? It could be caused by antibiotics. Neuromuscular blocks, confusion, brain health issues, seizures, even epilepsy, seizure disorders. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back right after this. 
you for listening to GCN. Be sure to visit GCNlive.com today. Okay, we are back on the bright side. Thank you for joining us, friends. Got lines open for you at 844-236-6010. I am pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements instead of toxic pharmaceutical drugs. Never did like, never, never made sense to me using prescription drugs for uh, compromised or, or somehow patients who are somehow dealing with some kind of chronic long-term breakdown, degenerative, progressive health challenge. It just never made sense. And it still doesn't make sense to me. All you got to do is look at the package insert. I remember one time in pharmacy school, we uh, saw a movie about a new class of drugs that was going to revolutionize the heart disease business, the cardiovascular health disease business. This was the uh, early 1980s, 1984 or so probably. And all the pharmacy students had to come watch this movie. It was sponsored by one of the drug companies, of course, and it was about a new class of drugs called beta blockers. And these beta blockers were going to revolutionize the heart disease business. How do beta blockers work? Well, they block the heart. And this is the, the classic doctor pharmacomedical strategy for dealing with things like angina and arrhythmias and, and heart, disease, uh, heart disease issues. They stop the heart. Now, I'm not kidding you. They stop the heart. That's how beta blockers work. It's called a chemical ablation. An ablation is when you stop the heart with electricity. That's an electrical ablation. And the beta blockers do the same thing with chemistry. They call it a chemical ablation. So you watch this movie. It was a movie about an hour long. The first 15 minutes were about how wonderful beta blockers were, how people with heart disease and people who were dealing with arrhythmias, they weren't going to have to go to, into surgery and they weren't going to have to have their heart shocked and burnt. That's what a chemical, uh, an electrical ablation is. Instead, they could have it chemically burnt and chemically shocked with beta blockers. This particular one was called Indoral, which we now call Propranolol. Some of you may have heard of this. And the, the movie was an hour long. Uh, the first 15 minutes about how great the drug was, and the last 45 minutes was some lady reading the side effects. I am not kidding you. One after another, after another, after another. And I'm watching this movie. I couldn't believe it. Things like uh, heart, these are the things that could po possibly happen. Heart attacks could possibly happen. Reproductive health issues could possibly happen. Nausea and vomiting could possibly happen. Dizziness could possibly happen. I mean, she was just reading one after another, after another. And I'm thinking to myself, what kind of business is this? And then I get out of pharmacy school, I start using nutritional supplements to start giving people nutrients. While I was working for this ridiculous department store, I won't even mention their name. I was the pharmacist at the department store. And I'm, I'm noticing that I give people essential fatty acids for their skin and their blood pressure drops. Or I recommend uh, probiotics after antibiotics and they don't have digestive problems. And I'm thinking, why are, we, uh, why are we dispensing poisons when we could be using nutrients? Well, the department store I was working for didn't like that. I was fired in short order. It didn't take very long. So I just started myself a little pharmacy. I started my own pharmacy. It was a skin health and nutritional pharmacy. And ever since then, I, I've dedicated myself to helping spread the word about how it's not drugs that help the body. And if you're sick, you don't need a prescription drug. You need to get yourself on a good nutritional supplement program and figure out why we're sick in the first place, which always is going to involve the digestive system and the blood sugar system, and then the adrenal thyroid complex. Anyway, if you've got questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we're here for you. 844-236-6010 is our number. 844-236-6010 is our number. We've got lines open for you. If you're interested in checking out the longevity products, Head over to brightsideben.com or my blogs at criticalhealthnews.com. We also have videos up at criticalhealthnews.com and also pharmacistben.com. You can also go to uh, benfuchsarchives.com, and that's set up by my uh, buddy Peter in the U.K. Thank you, Peter, for doing that. That's got all our websites, including truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com, our skin health website with all the truth treatment products, including our retinol 5% gel. So... The body's a system. Every part is connected to every other part. The digestive system is the foundation. That means when you work on your digestive system, when you do things that support digestive health, you're going to support everything. If you do things that don't support digestive health, everything else is going to break down. And that includes antibiotics, which do not support digestive health. They destroy the digestive system, especially the probiotics. Earlier this week, we talked about antibiotic overdoses and delirium. This is a very important and underappreciated relationship or connection between, between antibiotics and uh, mental health. 
Earlier this week, we said that uh, antibiotic, to this is from Medscape, antibiotic toxicity can represent an unrecognized cause of delirium in hospital patients. This is from uh, the journal, this is from uh, the website medscape.com. Another, uh, another article from the journal Drugs and Aging found that antibiotics given to elderly patients can be a cause of, quote, acute and less commonly chronic confusion, unquote. And it makes you wonder whether this apparent epidemic of Alzheimer's disease that we're suffering from may be related to the digestive tract, maybe even antibiotics. How many patients with dementia are really suffering, at least partially, from medication-induced delirium, antibiotic-induced delirium? And by the way, when it comes to Alzheimer's disease, please understand this. It's not a disease. Alzheimer's disease is not a disease. We only call it a disease so we can medicate it, so we can doctor it, so there can be a foundation, so people can make money from it. The proper name for Alzheimer's disease is pre-senile dementia. Alzheimer's disease is a colloquial term that has now been given official, official status, but technically it's called pre-senile dementia, and it's simply a manifestation of the aging process, except it's, it's accelerated. Senile dementia is the kind of confusion that occurs with aging. Pre-senile dementia is when it occurs at an accelerated pace. And pretty much everyone subsisting on the standard American diet is going to be dealing with some degree of senile dementia as they get older. After a certain age, which is maybe 80 or 85 years old, there's going to be an age-related deterioration of the brain if we're subsisting on the standard American diet and living in the standard American lifestyle. It's just, it's like arthritis of the brain. It's the same deterioration, degeneration that occurs in the joints when we get older and in the various organs as we get older. It's just a manifestation of the aging process. Dementia is something that happens to us as we get older. It doesn't have to, but it does if we're living the way we do, if we're subsisting on the, on the foods, that, the standard American foods, and we're living the standard American lifestyle. Doctors love to name things. I've said this so many times. Your diagnosis doesn't matter. It's just a name that doctors give your, degenerate, uh, your disease, your degenerative disease, so they can bill you for it, so they can put you in the computer. They got three names for dementias, they call it. One, dementia, Alzheimer's disease, which is pre-senile dementia, which is a kind of dementia that occurs early. There's another one called frontotemporal dementia, which refers to the area of the brain that, that degenerates. And then there's another one they call dementia or a Lewy body dementia. But they're all the same thing. They're just deteriorating brains. Sometimes there's weird proteins and sometimes there's tangles and they call them amyloid plaques and tau protein and Lewy bodies and they've got weird names for them, but it doesn't matter from a reversal, and make no mistake about it, Alzheimer's dementia and all dementias can be reversed or at least slowed down. And from a reversal and slowing down perspective, it doesn't matter what you call it. These are just silly doctor diagnoses that, are, that you get so that you can go into the computer and your insurance company can bill you. It's all based on business and economics, but not on health and not on reversal. This is why they don't, there's no way there's no drugs, there's no strategies, there's no medical protocols for dealing with Alzheimer's disease because it's just a degenerative process. It's not a medical issue. Degenerative disease is not a medical issue. It's just a generic breakdown in the body and it doesn't matter where it's occurring. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll take a break and come back with more good health information and you and your phone calls right after this. Don't go away. Okay, we are back on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll get your calls here in just a moment. If you're interested in checking out our longevity products, go to uh, brightsideben.com or criticalhealthnews.com or pharmacistben.com. And if you're interested in checking out our super high-end premium skin health products, truthtreatments.com. No oil, no wax, no filler, no preservative, no fragrance, just active material. And that's all you should ever have to pay for, friends. And listen, if you're looking at skin health products, the silliest way to make a decision on a buying on, on a product is to put it on your skin and see how it feels. That's not, how, that's not going to give you any indicator of how effective that skin product is. What you want to do is you want to know what's in the product or what's not in the product. What you want in the product is active material and as much of it as possible. What you don't want in the product is stuff that your skin isn't going to use or isn't going to need. And that includes 90% of what's in most skin health products. People say, oh, your skin products, your truth, truth treatment products are expensive. No, they're not. 
Not when you compare them to the 90% baloney that's in most other skincare health products. Every molecule in our Truth Treatment products is going to make a difference on your skin. There's not a single wasted element in any of those products. Everything I put in those products is there for you, for your skin. TruthTreatments.com, TruthTreatments.com. Take a special look at our retinol 5% gel. Okay. I didn't mean to go off on a tangent here with Alzheimer's disease. I have a personal, there's, Alzheimer's disease is personal to me. My grandfather had it, my dad has it. I, I don't want to say Alzheimer's disease, dementia is personal to me. Uh, it's in, it's, my grandfather had it, my dad has it, my mom is worried about it. And it's so tragically unnecessary. If you're in, uh, listening to us from Canada, by the way, I will be at the Total Health, uh, what's it called here? Total Health 2016 Health Show. Uh, April 8th, 9th, and 10th, that's next month, I'll be speaking with my good friend Ty Bollinger. He'll be there as well as Dr. David Brownstein, um, whose work I've been following for a long time. I'm very excited to get to meet him. A lot of folks are going to be there. A guy named James Hurtak will be there as well with his wife, Desiree Hurtak. They're founders of the Academy of Future Science. Dr. Uh, Hurtak has written a really, really, really cool book. Uh, called The Keys of Enoch, The Book of Knowledge. And I read that many years ago. I'm very excited to meet him. Anyway, we'll all be at the Total Health 2016 Health Show in Toronto, Canada. If you're out there in uh, the Toronto area, if you want to come up there, I'll be talking about Alzheimer's disease as well as the skin, as well as the digestive tract. And we'd love to see you out there. Uh, let's see who else is going to be there. Gary Young is going to be there talking about essential oils. It's going to be a really cool show. And that's at the Metro Toronto Convention Center, April 8th, 9th, and 10th. Okay, tomorrow we'll continue a little bit more about Alzheimer's disease. I don't want to digress too much on it, but as I say, there's a, it's very personal to me. And it's not a disease. Don't let anybody tell you it's a disease. The history of Alzheimer's disease is also very interesting. Anyway, we'll continue talking about that tomorrow, and then we'll also... Uh, talk about, uh, I wanted to get to, I'm not going to get to do that today, but we'll talk about fiber and phytates as well tomorrow as we continue talking digestive health, fatty health, uh, health of the fatty system in the body, fat absorption, the skin, the ketogenic diet, haven't finished up with that yet. So much more to talk about on the bright side. All right, time to hit our phones. 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to uh, Pwanda, I think you say that. Did I say that right? Pwanda in Oklahoma. Pwanda, is that, did I do that right? Pwanda. Yes, that's correct. Hello, Pwanda. What's going on? Hi, how are you? I'm doing well. well. I have a question being about uh, chest pain. Uh, okay. I have chest pain, and I've been having chest pain for a while. Is it like uh, gassy pain? Uh, is it a gas no. pain, or is it it's in the heart? Is it, I don't, you know, I went to the doctor, and they did tests and everything, and they said it was after reflux. Pwanda, I, uh, if, I'm on a, if you're on a speaker, can you get off? The, I'm having a hard time hearing you. Can you hear me now? A little bit better. Uh, so what, ask me your question. Put a question mark at the end of your statement here. How can we help you? Okay. Well, my question is, it feels like arthritis in my chest. Arthritis in your that's, chest? That's what it feels like, yeah. Are you sure it's not acid, like heartburn, acid reflux? Does it happen with foods? No. Like now, I, I haven't even eaten anything, and it's sore. It's, it's hard for me to get out of bed. Okay, well, that's hard. I need a little bit more information than that. Is it a muscle thing? Do you think it's a, in the chest muscle? Maybe so. Okay. Maybe. Well, here's a couple things. You're going to have to figure out where exactly it is if you want to treat this appropriately. I'm not, I'm not convinced it's not food-related, but if, if you say you haven't eaten in a while and you still have it, then it probably is not going to be related to food. For everybody out there listening, though, heartburn and acid reflux issues should, number one, be considered a food issue and also a, a, a bacterial probiotic issue. So probiotics and food elimination is your strategy. If it's in the muscle, are you working out at all? Are you doing any kind of workouts? Well, I have been lifting from heavy things. Okay, if, it, if it, it could be something to do with the muscle, if that's the case, if it is a muscular issue, essential fatty acids are your primary supplement for dealing with muscle inflammation and chest, any kind of inflammatory issues. Uh, when we talk about inflammation, you always want to think of essential fatty acids, especially if you're deficient. If you're deficient in terms of uh, your EFAs, chances are pretty good you've got the wrong balance of omega-6s to omega-3s because we get so many omega-6s in our foods, and omega-6s are pro inflammatory. Get yourself on the ultimate EFAs. Take three of them three times a day. That's nine of them a day. Magnesium also has a wonderful muscle relaxing effect. 
if you want to use the Longevity products, use the Osteo FX, but at least get 2,000 milligrams of magnesium every day. Glucosamine can help over the long haul. It won't help you right away. It may take a week or so for that to kick in. You could use the glucogel caps, or you can get glucosamine pretty much anywhere. Anything with cartilage will also help muscles. I love bone soup. You probably heard me talking about that. That's chicken soup where you, where you soak the bones and you let the cartilage dissolve in the bones. You can also use something called high uronic acid and they'll spell that for you h y a l u r o n i c high uronic acid as a supplement 100 milligrams a day you can also get something called liquid silica gel that also is very helpful for all connective tissue issues and by the way these strategies are also going to make your skin nice and beautiful and keep you from wrinkling all of these anti-inflammatory strategies are beneficial for the skin last but not least with all your foods you want to start to use your digestive enzymes nothing matters if you're not absorbing and the ultimate enzymes will help you absorb they also have anti-inflammatory effects if you take them on an empty stomach and then also uh, vitamin C is very important with all of these connective tissue building ideas, the collagen or the uh, cartilage and the hyaluronic acid and the EFAs. Always use your vitamin C with these supplements. And the Beyond Tangy Tangerine is a wonderful way to get your vitamin C. I'm, I'm assuming that you have a muscle issue and not a, a, a food issue uh, based on your description. All right. I hope I helped you, Pond. I got to motivate. Thank you so much for your call. God okay, bless you. Thank you. you. God bless you. Good luck. Okay. Let's go to British Columbia, BC. See what's going on, Clayton. Good morning. Welcome to the bright side. Hey Ben, uh, I just had a uh, ultrasound on my kidney yesterday, and they discovered a, uh, a growth. They said it's probably a uh, fatty, benign tumor, and I'm just wondering, a what okay. would cause that, and b can I get rid of it? Yes, you can. Well, uh, you know, you can. I'll tell you what you need to do to get rid of it. Theoretically, you can get rid of it. Uh, it's called. Did they say it was a lipoma? Did they mention that term to you? No. Okay, lipoma is the technical name for a fatty growth. Uh, the kidney does a lot of work. And when, uh, when a part of the body is doing a lot of work, the cells are going to be dividing very rapidly. When the cells divide rapidly, that's where you're going to be most likely to have a growth problem. So a couple things you're going to want to do. Number one, you've got to focus on the digestive tract. The kidney is eliminating toxins, among other things. And so the more toxicity that you've got going on through the digestive system, uh, the more likely you're going to be to have a tumor, especially fatty, uh, especially fatty foods. Uh, hang on. I've got to take a break. Don't go away. We'll finish up when we come back. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be, we'll be back. Okay, we are back on the bright side talking to Clayton in BC. You there, Clayton? Yes, I am. All right, buddy. So, uh, kidney ki uh, kidney lipomas not all that un not all that uncommon, and usually asymptomatic. The big problem is, of course, when it gets really big, it's going to affect kidney function. You had no other symptoms, I I'm assuming, correct? Uh, I did have uh, um, yeah some blood in my urine. That's what, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, well, those, that's not a good thing. That means that the adjacent vessels are starting to be affected. So here's the deal. You don't want to focus so much on the kidney as you do on general toxicity of the body. When you have issues with the fat cells, typically that means that you're having a problem processing fats, and that usually involves a long-standing digestive health issue. So you probably had something percolating along in your digestive system in terms of how you process foods for a while. Focus on fat malabsorption. That means use your probiotics, good bacteria, like they're going out of style. I'd be doing 50, 60 billion units a day. I like the bioluminightly essence, as well as fermented foods. If you can restrict your intake of foods, generally caloric restriction, intermittent fasting, that will also help you. It'll also help you feel better in general. Do you have any, by the way, do you have any other symptoms like fatigue or confusion or high blood pressure or anything like that? No. Nothing. You're completely asymptomatic, healthy guy. You sound good, but you yeah. Know. Okay. All right. Good. So focus on digestive health. Make sure you're using your ultimate enzymes with all your meals. And I would go to the health food store and get some extra lipase and pancreatin, both of which can help you process fats. And then take fatty vitamins with your ultimate enzymes and with your pancreatin and also with your good bacteria, your probiotics. And you may want to use some apple cider vinegar of 20,000 international units of vitamin A a day. 400 international units of vitamin E a day. Make sure you're getting some sunshine. Uh, if you can't get sun for whatever reason, uh, you can use a sun lamp or at least get some extra vitamin D3. 5,000 international units a day. Wonderful for the immune system in general. Also important for fat metabolism. And then make sure you're getting your minerals. If you have any issues with fats, you may not be absorbing your minerals, especially zinc. 
uh, 50 milligrams a day, zinc picolinate, and selenium, which is wonderfully anti-cancer as a bonus. Also just a general all-important mineral, 400 to 600 micrograms a day. And then it, if you want to throw one more thing in, get some extra bile salts. You probably heard us talking about bile last few days. Um, you can take extra bile salts with all your meals. And then last but not least, make sure you're getting enough fiber, either in vegetables or veggie juices or grinding it up fresh, uh, grinding flax seeds up fresh. And then one more thing, uh, your ultimate essential fatty acids. EFAs are critically important for fat absorption, uh, for the whole fat system. Uh, and take a lot of them, nine a day, or you can also get liquid essential fatty acids. That's also, that might be helpful as well. Focus on the fat, fatty system of your body and focus on digestive health. And of course, get on a good all-around nutritional supplement program like the, Beyond, like the Healthy Star Pack, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, and the OsteoFX, and the Ultimate EFAs. Not a kidney problem as much as it is a fat problem. Does that make sense? Sense, although the kidney's yes. affected now. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Take care, Clayton. Thanks so much. I hope Thanks. we helped you. All right, God bless you, my friend. All right, let's go to Stephen in Pennsylvania. What's going on, Stephen? Welcome to the Bright Side. Hi, Ben. Uh, ben, what was that uh, gentleman's name? Uh, James Hertak? Uh, uh, J.J. Hertak. Uh, uh, J.J. Hertak, James Hertak. Yeah. He wrote a really, really, it's, a, it's not a health book. It's kind of a spiritual book uh, called, you, have you ever heard of The Keys of Enoch? Yes. Yeah. yeah, he wrote this amazing book. I mean, it's very difficult to read, but it's, got, it's really an amazing book. Uh, it's called The Book of Knowledge, and I'm super excited to meet this guy. Uh, and it'll be at the Total Health uh, 2016 pre, uh, Natural Health Show in Toronto. Oh. J.J. Hertak. Okay, the uh, I have a question for you regarding uh, copper and zinc. How yes. zinc is supposed to uh, uh, copper zinc, copper they balance each balance other. Balance zinc. Yes. Yes. And uh, what my understanding is that uh, a lot of times, uh, uh, even if you have too much copper in your pipes, yes, you have old true. Copper pipes, it'll it'll wipe all the zinc out of your. System. I don't know about all the zinc, but it will have a negative effect on zinc. It'll cause zinc excretion, and that's true. Most most municipalities, especially older cities, will have copper piping. And uh, that they, the copper can leach out in the water, and that can cause an issue with zinc. That's usually that's why I use, when I talk about zinc, I don't always say to balance it out with copper because most people are getting enough copper. But nonetheless, it's not a bad idea to use the two together: 50 milligrams a day of zinc picolinate, along with two to four milligrams a day of copper. And the uh, my my question, other question was regarding the hair color. I believe it was yeah. Dr. Wallach that said that if you have enough copper, your, yeah. your hair will never get gray. I don't know. You know, that's he says that. I'm not. I don't want to get into what Dr. Wallach says. His right. thinking is the logic is is that copper is a cofactor in the in the production of pigment. And so copper deficiency can cause a problem making pigment. However, pigmentation is also uh, melanin, the pigment in your hair, is affected by oxidation, it's affected by aging, it's affected by cortisol and stress hormone. So it's not just a copper issue, although it is true that a copper deficiency can cause that problem, but it doesn't always follow that just taking copper will make your hair, co hair color come back. If your hair is turning, uh, is losing its color simply because of a copper deficiency and then and you replace the copper, that can happen. And you know what, Stephen? I've talked to a lot of people who have taken copper and their hair color has come back. So it may happen, it may not happen, depending on the real, the original cause of the, of your, uh, of your loss of pigment. You know, a funny thing I read in a, in an old book. I found this old book when I was like 1870s or something like that. And they said some guy he was uh, uh, like uh, sleeping, like leaning at a bar or something on his uh, hand. On his head was on his hand. And where his head massaged, there, evidently there was some type of a, maybe a gland. Is there a gland along the side of the head? By the is, temples yeah, that if you there's sweat glands. That, it'll bring color back to your hair? No, I don't, I don't know of any gland like that. Hey, hey Stephen, i got to motivate, buddy. I want to get some more calls. Thanks, okay. thanks for your call. Good to talk to you, bro. Bye. Have a good day, man. Take care. Okay, Sarah in Pennsylvania, sorry to leave you on hold there. You've been home forever. What's going on? Oh, hi, Ben. Hey. Um, hi, thanks for taking my call. Sure. Um, Hey, um, quick question. Um, I just found out, I've been listening to you for a while, so I really, I really like your show. Thank you. Um, I basically just wanted to get your opinion. Um, I just found out that my neighbor, I've been living at this apartment for six months now. My neighbor, um, it's a four-unit apartment, you know, house split into four units. Anyway, I found out that um, he has black mold in his bathroom and the whole entire tiles are just loaded with it and he says his basement's loaded with it and oh, wow. his allergies are real bad yeah and then i put two and two together 
um, I was like wondering why, like my eyes are always like watering. Oh, I wow. sneeze when I wake up. It's really bad. And I, I did a Google search like an hour before I called the show. Um, I wanted to do more research, and I have all of the symptoms of black mold. Okay. And, um, I did go down in my basement, um, and I, I looked in the bathroom. There's I didn't see any, but in the basement, it half of it's like dirt, and I looked. And it's all mold, but I don't think it's black mold. But it, you could easily be, br- yeah, you could easily be breathing in uh, uh, black mold, which produces all kinds of toxins and can cause a reaction. That, it's, uh, you know, what are you going to do? You can move, but well, pretty much any. Pro- yeah, I'm going to probably move. The landlord isn't doing anything. He told the landlord, but I was wondering if, do you think temporarily before I move out, if I keep. If I get circulation, if, if I keep the windows all the way open, do you yeah, think that that will That'll help. I'd be focusing on what okay. you can do in your body in terms of protecting yourself. And, and mold and fungus are counteracted by good bacteria. Good bacteria support your immune system, and, and bacteria and fungus kind of have this balancing out relationship. So make sure you're pounding the probiotics and doing fermented food and not doing okay. anything that compromises your immune system. That means sugar primarily, okay. but any digestive out, food allergens, food toxins, and sugar can be a problem. Uh, some nutrients that you might want to consider for building the immune system. Vitamin C is super mega, mega, mega important for building the immune system. Also zinc, 50 milligrams a day. Selenium, also important for the immune system. Copper, which we just talked about. Magnesium. These are all nutrients that can help you build your immune system and strengthen it. Uh, And then caloric restriction, of course, that always is a good immune boosting strategy. That's something else that you might want to consider. Okay. I've been doing that, trying the um, intermittent fasting. It's working real good. Good deal, Sarah. Strengthen your immune system and get the heck out of there. That's what I'd be doing. I am. Thanks a lot. I just wanted your comment on that. (laughs) Thank you. God bless you. Good luck. Okay. All right, Stuart, you get the last word, buddy. What's going on, man? Stuart in Denver, Colorado. Well, happy St. Patty's Day. Thank you, Stuart. How you doing, man? I thought uh, pretty good, but I thought this was an appropriate topic today because you kind of mention it every once in a while. But, uh, you know, being a musician uh, in the Irish community, uh, alcoholism, you know, when people oh. decide they want to get back, what can I do to help them get back? I know that uh, protein. Pro- is- well, protein is the most important thing for dealing with addictions and then relaxing the body when you're going through the withdrawals. That's the problem when you try to wean yourself off of alcohol or prescription drugs is you you activate the stress system, and that's why people fall back on, uh, fall off the wagon. So calming the body down when you're going through your withdrawal symptoms is the most important thing. And you know what? That, that's the second most important thing. The most important thing when it comes to making any change in your life, whether it's nutrition or kicking a habit, is willingness. Willingness yes. can get you through anything, and, and that's really where we where we run into problems is we don't have that core willingness. Stuart, we're just out of time, buddy. I only got 15 seconds, but thanks for your call. Appreciate it, and happy St. Patty Day, Patty's Day to you. All right, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for listening, friends. Check out my skin health products at truthtreatments.com, and we will talk to you later. Have an awesome, spectacular, beautiful day. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Bye for now.